I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Ignited Future Hub. Today we deal with circles. So before entering to the topic, let me tell you one thing. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like and share. So, today we deal with circles, introduction part. In this real world, we come across circles like bangle. There are many types of circles you, we might have met in our real life. Can be wheels of vehicle, like that it goes on up to infinity. Circle is a collection of all points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point in the plane is called the circle. This is the center of the circle. This is the center of the circle. This is the center of the circle. From this center of the circle to a fixed point, let it the point be named as P. All same distance. Clear? And this is called the radius of the circuit. If we take a distance from here to here, radius is same. That so we say circle is a collection of all points in a plane which are at a fixed distance from a fixed point in the plane is called circle. The fixed point is called the center of the circle. The fixed distance is called the radius of the circle. Thus, the plane is divided into three parts. What are they? Interior of the circle. This is the interior of the circle. Circle itself. And exterior of the circle. The line joins. So let, let us consider two points. This is the first point and this is considered as the second point. Line joining the first point and the second point is called the chord of the circle. Longest chord is the diameter of the circle. Look here, this is a chord and this too is a chord and this is the longest chord which is considered as the diameter of the circle. So diameter d equal to 2 times radius. 2 times radius, so diameter d equal to 2 into r. So we know that this is the center of the circle and this is R and this is R. So R plus R equal to 2R. So diameter equal to 2 times radius. Got it? So when we write, when we draw a chord, we get two arcs. One is called the major arc. And one is called the minor arc. Arc AB, in the clockwise direction, arc AB is the major arc because we have more area. Arc BA is minor arc. This is arc BA which is minor arc. If the chord is the diameter, then the two arcs are equal. Length of the complete circle is called circumference. For example, if I draw here a circle and if I draw a diameter here, which is the longest chord, then the two arcs, this is an arc and this is an arc. So let let name it as AB. So the arc AB, which is in clockwise direction and arc BA, which is in anti-clockwise direction, are equal. What is equal? 
length length of both arcs are equal the length of the complete circle is called circumference suppose for example if i take a small thread and i keep along this distance the small thread and the length of that thread is called the circumference like that region between the chord and the corresponding arc is called the segment this is the chord chord and the corresponding arc is called the segment this is the segment the larger region is called major segment and smaller region is called minor segment this is major segment and this is minor segment next is sector a sector with central angle less than 180 degrees called minor sector and a sector with central angle greater than 180 degrees called major sector theta is the central angle this is the central angle theta so this looks like an angle right so this is the vertex of that angle and these two are arms of the angle so this distance is equal to this distance why because these two are the radius of the circle so from the figure from the diagram itself it is clear that this angle is less than 180 hence it is called the minor sector and we know this angle is greater than 180 so it is called major sector if both arcs are same then it is called semicircle hope this is clear thank you